Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders. I'm here with Rattlesnake Pete. Yeah, by golly. And uh, this week we're gonna be talking about hygiene in the Old West, so yeah. let's check it out. When one thinks of the era of westward expansion, one thinks of either spiffed up townspeople in the finest of Victorian fashion, or unclean folks in tattered clothes. Well, both were real. Gritty Western movies tend to show a lot of dirt, sweat-stained souls who look like they haven't had a bath in ages. Of course, we've all heard the line, I took a bath last month. Hey folks, this practice wasn't only in the Wild West, it was running rampant internationally in regions where there wasn't running water. People didn't brush their teeth with any regularity. In one stagecoach stop, there was a community toothbrush for anyone who wanted to use it. Oh, and as you probably guessed, there was no toilet paper. So newspaper, corn cobs, grass, or the occasional leaf, hopefully a big one, were used. Shampoo didn't become a thing until the 1920s, so people would use soap to wash their hair. However, soap was harsh, so washing the locks wasn't a daily or weekly activity. They shared cups, and they drank dirty water. Dysentery and cholera ran amok and killed many people. However, there may have been some benefit to all this. When you don't wash your body, you build up a resistance to certain things, like allergens. I'm here with Dr. James Friedman. David. What? David. David. Oh, yes. sorry. <clears throat> um, is it true that our forefathers, by not washing regularly, may have had a little bit better barrier than we may have today to fight diseases and sickness? Oh yeah, this this layer on their skin that was only bathed, you know, once in a while, uh, provided the immune system some entertainment, where it would constantly interact with the germs on their skin, and even in their gut, so that there was less immune and allergic diseases. However, they had their struggles with infectious disease. True. Well, you know, Tom, thanks very much for uh, for 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 David. What? David. David. Oh, yes. yeah, right, yeah. I gotta go get my shots now. I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Right. Fleas, lice, and bed bugs were a common plague to the pioneers. Today we have ways to battle such things, but not so much in the 19th century. Where is that thing? <laughs> Native Americans would scrub themselves with sand when water wasn't available. Oh, they also put bear grease or raccoon fat in their hair to create a healthy looking shine. Take that, head and shoulders. What's up? Let's consolidate all of this. So, people had bad breath and they stank of body odor. Water could give you dysentery, and filthy people prepared your unsanitized food. Huh. So, you still wish you could go back in time? You might not last out the week. Okay, you look great. There you go. Hey, ready, Going ready. How are you fellas? Oh, hey, oh. how y'all doing? Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. How's it going? How are you? How are you? Ooh, well, we're getting ready to go out on the yeah. town, you know. Yeah, I remember we're going out on the town. Yeah, you. Yeah. You want to maybe spruce up like we did, like clean up a little bit? You think? No, I'm good. Oh, oh sure. Yeah, we're gonna paint the town tonight. Uh, Dan, um, you know, <laughs> I'm naked without my spurs. And they're way up there. Can you go get them for me and then we'll be ready to way go? Way up there. Yeah, they're up there. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Nothing. Nothing, man. Eh? What are you two up to? Nothing. Uh -huh. Nothing. No, no, we're all good. Ah! Ah! Oh, God. Hey, folks. Oh. Oh. These are my partners. Oh. You know? Oh. Folks, remember, oh. like, share, and subscribe. And, uh... We'll smell you on down the trail. Oh, oh, oh. Oh.